going on, guys? <clears throat> so I wanted to give you the real, real start to the job, you know? Um, I didn't change my clothes. I still got to change my clothes. The car is still fully intact. And um, we're going to change a rack opinion today on that truck right there. Um, and uh, before I die in that truck, I might as well just fix the problem, right? So this is what we're going to do today, and I'm just setting up getting all the parts. I'm never going to get to work on that one. Thursday, look at Thursday. Yeah. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. Love you with the the rack opinion man just chilling in my grandmother's living room we got to put it in the car but um you know i did some work you can see right outside boom i did some work already removed most of it now it's just taking off uh this bracket and the two bolts and um we should be golden in a second so check it out man, camera kind of cuts everything off but you know whatever Man, I don't know what these parts are, oh, man. I'm getting this shit done, though. It's kind of kind of heavy. I ain't gonna lie. I just really want to teach you guys what I did. So, as you can see right there with a the circle, is that the circle, I guess, should be straight with these two holes so all the screws go in together. But the, the rusted one right there. So, you pop the fork in between that and then you kind of bang it. It's gonna make a wedge. And then it pops out, you know. So now it's out completely. I can move it, and then this whole rack is coming out. So I just want to show y'all. Right now, it's pretty much loose. Oh, it's right above that. This this bracket is, you know, my one of my screws is stripped, so I just spin it out. But uh, as you can see, it's already ready to come out. I just gotta pop this uh, steering column, and it should be good. You need a fork for that. A fork. Right it outside. Here's the new rack or the remanufactured rack. And again, what you gotta do is elevate it. I mean, I don't need it right now. You can bring it whenever. Cool. No problem. I got to throw you on the YouTube now. Now you're on the YouTube now. <laughs> yeah? Let's see what y'all can show y'all. All right, all right. Oh, man. So, yeah, man, um, I see it, bro, it's crazy, man, disgusting piece of shit, bro, yeah. So, I, I try to, um, mimic, mimic how I got it out, because that's how I was going to have to go back in. It's a very tight space up there. They have the transmission that's slightly in the way, it's a little piece, so you have to, like, groove through it, but, uh. What I think I'm gonna end up doing is actually taking out the tire rods and putting them back in, the tire rod ends, and then putting them in after because it's actually harder with those extra, extra length. But yeah, we take out these, 
little blockers real quick and um put the new one in man and then go and get a wheel line so that's where we at right now yeah man i couldn't even update y'all as much but we done man you know the old one here show y'all this already um after installing they just look for leaks um you turn the car on and you fill it up with power steering fluid and you just look for leaks and um right now we have none we have none which is great so uh we we go right now man this job is done uh and any other maintenance will get done tomorrow or anything else but for the most part it was a it was a hell of a job it took a while um it's easier with two people for this job but i did it by myself it took about four hours three hours and a half or something me bullshit but um yeah guys uh rack of pain change uh do it by yourself man oh guys came to the wheel alignment spot and unfortunately they're booked until next week man so i can't get my wheel alignment done in here um all shops close in about an hour i'm gonna be searching all over the place my other spot actually their wheel alignment machine broke this past week so he recommended me to come here and this guy is booked um so uh you know you saw that right the legal the legal right turn he passed the red light whatever um i guess i'll deal with this tomorrow i mean it's driving pretty good honestly this is where it's at it's kind of off like this slightly so that just has to do with the tightening of the rods and you can still feel the you know the release from the metal so um I guess I'll deal with that, you know, tomorrow. It's not really a big deal. It's not bad to the point where the car is going all over the place on the road. So, unfortunately, I tried to get it done today completely, and I kind of made it harder for myself. So, I guess we'll just move forward, and uh, I'll look for another spot. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching, man. You know, with alignment, about four, I mean, uh, uh, Rack of pain about four hours, three and a half hours, and then would have took me another 30 minutes to an hour for this wheel alignment. So a five hour job. Definitely could be done in one day. Um, I'm happy with me getting it done, but unhappy with the fact that I didn't get the wheel alignment right now. I kind of wasted like 40 minutes. Or, yeah, 40 minutes or so looking for a wheel alignment spot. So uh, that was kind of a blow, but I'm happy I went under there. I changed it. I got, you know, I got brand new parts at the moment. Yeah, man. So, uh, again, I'm happy with the job. I, my stabilizer link was messed up. There's a couple of things that were, were actually uh, I was actually messed up, so I fixed. But uh, now I got this little steering wheel to the left slightly. Uh, I guess I'll fix that tomorrow. And uh, I also got my rear rotors and brakes to change next to. So you just heard the squeak on the brake, so I had to change those. It's next job. But, uh. You know, do your own work, man. It's my slogan has been going on for a while. Do your own work. Um, it wasn't an easy job today, man. I wasn't happy with it, but I'm happy that I'm done. So every time I get in front of the camera, I start to yawn, man. I don't know what it is. But thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.